Hello, I'm Fabio, and today I'm going to talk about magnetohydrodynamic drives. This is a kind of propulsion system used mainly in ships as well as in spacecrafts, which relies on no moving parts in order to actually move a vehicle. This is great because no moving parts means very high reliability and absolutely no consumption of fuel, so no pollution. So, basically, how does this work? As you can see from the image, MHD thrusters rely on electromagnetic induction to work. Their operation can be explained using the right hand palm rule. Basically what happens is that a current is produced between two electrodes in the water. A magnetic field is produced by a magnet placed above the two electrodes, and therefore a force results which moves water. To demonstrate this, a very simple experiment can be used using an iodine magnet and a 9 volt battery. This shows how the magnetic field created by the magnet placed under the bowl and the current produced by the battery here makes the water move. In 1991, in Kobe, Japan, the Yamato 1 was built. This was probably the best working prototype of an M MHD ship ever to be built, and it reached a maximum speed of 8 knots, which is not that impressive, unfortunately. I built my own prototype, which will be shown in the video. Metaphorically, it is possible to say that the development of MHD technology hit an iceberg. This mainly is due to the fact that the generation of current needed for this technology to work is, first of all, polluting because an external motor will be needed, secondly, reliant on moving parts of this external motor, and thirdly, quite dangerous because of the high nature of the currents involved. Overall, we can say that whilst magnetohydrodynamic drives are a very interesting technology, engineers still need to develop this in order to make it feasible. Mm -hmm.